This is uh, 6-15, uh, 2014, Father's Day. Dad, it's almost like I drew and wrote this card myself. After 26 years, I finally understand I will always be your little girl. Big or small, old or young, you forever my everything, my rock, my world. You have always been more than a dad to me. You are a mom, a dad, a sister, a brother, and my heart. I love you forever, your little girl. September 7, 2014, around 8.30 in the evening, two San Diego police officers came to my door and asked me my name, and they had my daughter's name. They asked me to call a social worker at a USC Medical Trauma Center. Now, that's a parent's nightmare. My name is Alexander Brangman, and I'm a father. And now, unfortunately, I've become an advocate. I had a beautiful daughter named Jewel Alexandra Brightman. We had a wonderful relationship. I raised her as a single parent. I didn't miss a beat in her life. She was a pre-Olympic gymnast. She was an academic All-American. She had a master's degree and she wanted to get a PhD. I had her for 26 years, 11 months, nine hours and 15 minutes. And she was killed by a faulty airbag. At a Senate hearing today, Connecticut Democrat Richard Blumenthal pressed the Japanese company Takata to set up a fund to compensate victims of its faulty airbags. Lawmakers and other experts say that when the Takata airbag inflators explode, they can potentially send shrapnel through the bag and into the driver. Eight deaths and more than 100 injuries are linked to this. It's led to the largest recall in U.S. history. A rented Honda Civic involved in a fender bender in Los Angeles last September. Alexander Brangman's daughter, Jewel, an aspiring actress, was driving. I drive up from San Diego, and I walked in USC trauma unit, and what I saw was horrific. Here's this beautiful, angelic human being that was my daughter, hooked up to this monstrous life support system. I was told by the doctor and the surgeon that she lost nine pints of blood, and she coded three times before she even got there. They did everything they could do to try to save her life but she was brain dead. And that was just not a state that I was prepared to see my daughter in. So for, at that particular point, I had to make some decisions in a very distressed, stressful environment, heartbroken and devastated. And I made those decisions and my life changed from that particular point. I didn't really have a lot of information about what happened with the accident other than the fact that she was in an accident. I wasn't even aware of at that particular time that trap metal went in our carotid artery and killed her. Lawmakers also want to know how long Takata knew internally about the potential problems before they became public. Internal emails suggest they actually suspended global safety audits for cost-cutting reasons. This audit report is one of the worst I've ever seen. This is about blatant, incompetent mismanagement. Team 10 is learning new information about a lawsuit filed by a San Diego father whose daughter was killed by an exploding airbag. When I filed my lawsuit in April with Honda Takata and Sunset Rental, there were also four other litigants, so I had six defendants that I sued. That process is complicated. My background helped. I was a law professor, so it helped me understand what taught law and to pick the right attorneys to pursue my case. The way to get their attention is for a jury to say what you did was reprehensible, what you did was not right, and you're gonna pay for it. I do not think that corporations are taking the right measures with regard to public recalls. Their major concern is profit. If they can produce something that's faulty, cheaper, they're willing to take the risk and put the essence and the assumption of risk on the consumer, which is wrong. U.S. Senate will consider a bill that would require rental car companies to notify consumers of recalls, but not require them to take those cars off the road. Airbags are supposed to save lives, not to be the cause to take them. Now is the time for action. What we've seen is delay, denial, even deception. What I would do is stop and deceased. If there's a faulty product out there, 
that product cannot be on the road with regard to airbags, for example. Punitive, compensatory, and in some cases criminal charges should be placed on those manufacturers and distributors of faulty products because it's dangerous and a life is too precious. While his grief is overwhelming, Alexander Brangman takes some comfort from the very last text he got from his daughter. I love my life, Dad. I love my life. He hopes no other family will suffer as he has. She lived up to her name, Jewel, the precious gem. She was precious to me and she was precious to the world. We always had to say, I said, Jewel, when I grow up, I want to be like you. And she would say to me, you're the biggest kid I know. That's why I want to give you a whole bunch of grandkids. I'm denied that now because of something that was preventable. And I'm heartbroken. But in her name, I will be her voice to let the world know what was lost and to let others know if they're in a situation similar to mine, that there is hope if you can find strength. And I want to be the example of that. I want to save lives now because I know that that's what my daughter would want.